Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about J-layered pane. J-layered pane class is used to create a layered pane. So a layered pane provide a three dimension for positioning your components um, on the frame. So you can position different GUI components or for example, panels into several different layers on your frame. So that's what we're going to see in today's video. So as I told you, if you want to create a layered pane, you use the J layered pane class. Okay, so let's start with the coding. I have the my frame class which is extending a JFrame. And I also have the test app class where I am going to run my program. So I'm gonna write the code in the MyFrame class. I have a constructor here and inside the constructor, I have set the properties of the frame. So here, what we're gonna do is that we are going to declare a JLayered pane instance. So I'll say JLayered pane, I'm gonna call it layered pane like this and i'm going to say get layered so i need to import the j layered pin class so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create some buttons i will say j button btn1 assignment operator new j button so i'm not going to set the text for this button yet so i'm going to place this button on the frame so that will be set bound so I'll say 15, 15, and as for the height, I'll say 75, uh, that's the width and 75 for the height. One other thing I can do here is that I can add this particular button to the pane, okay, the layered pane. So our layered pane was called layered pane here. So I'll say layered underscore pane that add. So I'm going to say um, VTN1, then I need to pass an integer value that's going to determine the layer of this particular GUI component, which is button one. So I will simply say new integer and one. So now let me run. So as you can see, the button is showing on the frame. So note here is that we are saying J layered pane, layered pane, get layered pane. So this is going to transform our frame into a layered pane, okay? So that any GUI component that will be added to the pane, to the layered pane, will definitely show on the frame. I'm gonna add another button that I will call BTN2. I will simply copy this like that, paste it here, and then make some few changes. So as for button two, for example, I'm gonna leave, leave the same position in here, but to make the difference, I will set the background color of this button. Uh, I will say color that, that red like this. Just capital C here. I need to import the color class as usual. Then down here, I'm going to copy this line of code, paste it down and simply change here to BTN2. And I'll pass in the layered position uh, like this too. And then when I run, now you can see that I'm, I'm only seeing the second button, okay? Why? Because here, the two buttons are having the same position and the second button is having a, a layer two. So that's going to bring it on top of button one. You will see that if I say here two and down here, I'll say one for lead button two. When I click now, you can see the first button show. So that's actually how you can play around the various layers on the layered pane. So what I'm going to do here, I'm simply going to change this by saying 20 like this and 20 here as well. And now when I run that you can see a little difference, but the first button is showing behind the second button. You know, what I can do is to increase the width and height for these buttons. So I'll also increase this. Now when I run, yeah, so you can see I'm having the various buttons showing. So let me copy this. I'll add a third button and a fourth one like this. So BTN three, three here, three like this as well. So I'll say 85, 85 here. Let me copy this, paste it down and I will say BTN three. So if I say layered position at uh, position three here and run, 
So I'm supposed to have these three buttons. I can change the background color for this one to yellow. Yeah, so I'm having a yellow colored button. So that's actually how you can, you know, work around or play with um, layered pane, uh, J layered pane class in Java GUI. You can create the various components and place them at different uh, layers on your frame. So here we've used the uh, buttons. You can also uh, use labels or panels as well and place them one on top of the other based on your, the layer position. So if, for example, I say three here, and this one would be two when you run. So now you can see the difference. All right. So guys, I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.